Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. guys I got this cable of string right here on this trail I put in last night in the dark it runs down that way and there ain't even a catch circle I must have just got him it's five o'clock in the morning he didn't even knock down he didn't even knock down my little stick I stuck in the ground there to hold my wire up you talking about no catch circle I just got this guy What's the odds of that? I and mean, look, my trail's perfect. I can put this, probably put this cable back up maybe, hopefully. Like I didn't even know I had it on here. I come over the hill and it was just sitting here like a dog. Good looking dog though. Very timid. Until you do that. All right, that's gonna be dog number, dog number nine so far. We'll take it. I'm glad I put out some cables last night. It's paying off already. All right, guys. Uh, just starting the morning off. Sorry, it's dark, but you know how I do it. I got too much stuff not to not to check in the dark. I don't have another cable with me, but I'll come back to I'll come back after work and put a cable on this trail again, maybe two now, now that I know that it's really traveled. It's pretty uh that's the first time I didn't have a catch circle like a giant catch circle. I'm just amazed by it. Alright guys, stay tuned, hopefully we can get some more. Alright guys, it's a little uh it's a little squared off at the bottom, but there's nothing wrong with that cable, really. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. Usually you don't get to reuse them, but I'm gonna take this one and use it. And I'll probably end up coming back tonight and putting one right over here. So, I always uh, seem like first time for everything. There she is, or he. It's a she, lots of she's this year. Good dog. All right, guys, thanks for being here. I want to show, I wanted to show you guys something that I thought was interesting. You never know what you're gonna see. Coyotes went out there, grabbed a decoy from right there. You can see the decoy there. You can see the drag marks. I have stroked that duck up to this bank until they realized that uh, it wasn't dinner. But they went a long ways before they realized they didn't have something to eat. And that's just crazy. You just never know what the hell you're going to see. And they're cruising that way. Snow tells you a lot of things. See that trail right there? It's something to look for, guys. You just never know what the hell you're gonna see when there's snow. Now's the time when there's snow to be out investigating what's going on. All right, guys, stay tuned. Oh yeah, look it, look it, look it. He can get a long ways, can he? But he won't. Sweet. Fox and a cable, first one. Don't catch very many fox.
Boom. Here's our fox. Fox in a cable. And that's how you do it. Good catch on him, wasn't it? Yep, perfect. Hell yeah. All right, we'll get him taken care of and we won't be remaking. Dawson him? Ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> I've never seen a fox play dead before. There he goes. You're okay. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I found a spot right here. It looked be it looked you could see it a lot better yesterday. But the muskrats have this hole open right here, you can see. And they're coming out and you can see just still make out their tracks. They kept it open. They got another one right down there and there's a bunch of tracks. I'm going to set a few baited traps here on kind of an assortment. And then we'll see what we get. I don't know how deep it is, but I'm going to break the ice and get in there. Maybe I can find a spot for a colony later on. But you can see they they kept it open and everything else is pretty hard. I can find a run and I'll just set in the runs, but probably somewhere nearby. Actually, I think it's right there. I think there's one right there. I'm in now. The run is right there. One hundred percent right there. Get rid of all this shit. I don't plug my one ten up. Brand new trap, never been used yet, it don't look like. Yeah, found where it is. Well, it's right there. I wasn't planning on setting this kind of set, but since I found a run, at least it looks like a run. I'm gonna set one now. That's soaked. <laughs> Got this guy. put it right there somewhere it's gonna be a little experiment here because of the usually I'm just stick them under the water I'm gonna put it right there I know they're coming out here so there's two sets <clears throat>
this one out deeper. And as soon as this all thaws out, I'll be watching for the runs. Here's an old pocket set over that way. This has been frozen since I've been here, so. You just gotta keep your eyes out. I just don't happen to look down and see it. And I can tell they're probably hungry. There really ain't much vegetation here. There's grass, that's about it. Just trying to figure out how I like this. If I want it the other way or oh there, I think I want to have it up on top. I don't want to just throw a bunch of traps out. I want them to have a chance of producing, so I always just sit on the first notch. I get asked that a lot. I always just set the first notch. So I put the carrot up top. Maybe they can see it a little better. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Right there. Three sets. As long as the ice don't screw with me here. Three sets there and then we'll go to this next one. Kind of do the same stuff. I got this thing I'm gonna try out. An ear of corn. And this guy. And I can see where the mud stirred up here, so there's probably gonna be a den here too. I'll look for it. I got one more trap for it. Yep, perfect in right there. I'll get it set up. See, let's try to get this ice out of here. And the main reason to get rid of the ice, it will mess up my set here. But it don't take long to get it out. Figured I'd try it out. It's like the Hags bracket kind of. I've been looking at them online. I haven't decided which ones I want yet. So I haven't got one. And I saw this hole open. Figured now would be a good time to try this out. Wire a carrot on this pole. Push the trap just under the water. Like so, that's set. I come up here to eat that carrot and step on the trap right there. Now this guy, I didn't already mess up the whole area too much. It's kind of tight quarters here. I 
it stinks. There's another hole started right there. Boy, it stinks over here for some reason. Hopefully this footage is turning out. Basically, I want to put a pocket set in. Looks like a pocket set anyways. This one's got an earth anchor on it. I'm gonna put it right here. I want them to get caught, swim out here and drown. So I put it a far enough away from the hole to where they should not swim out there. That's my goal. Tramp right there, just under the water. Get rid of the ice. Let's grab this ear of corn. I'm gonna put this ear of corn right here. That should be all kinds of eye appeal. The corn. And then this carrot right here. That's just stuff I had in my pocket, so from to bring out here for this. I'm gonna use it. Got this set, this set, and I found the tunnel right there. I'm gonna go grab another 110, come in that side, try not to disturb all this. But there's several sets. There's obviously enough activity here. There's more than one muskrat. Same with down there. And I might check my coyote sites and just swing back through and check to see if I got anything because they're pretty active pretty fast so I might come back through lucky lucky guys we got another yodel dog I didn't even see him for a while there mange I think but it could be it very well could be a uh, this could very well be a tan yote I believe it's too bad you got mange I've never seen and I just got him by the toe what a shame I've never seen uh, such a blonde coyote with a blind eye like that, guys. But it's looked like he's gonna be mangy. He's not gonna be any good. But look at the color on this guy. Now this is gonna be a first. Wow. I'm, I'm just in awe, guys, I really am. The colors I've been getting are unreal. This coyote. Old Duke 550 number three. Anyways, I had a uh, piss post on the trail. You probably can't make out the trail now. And you can see this video, this set it was in a uh, few of, when I was set up this farm. I don't know exactly which vlog it was. A little bit of bobcat piss, hellfire, and I just reset, re cleaned it up a little bit yesterday. Almost, 
It's unreal. You're blind in one eye, huh? I guarantee you, you're probably the coyote that I'm looking for, guys. The reason I'm saying that he's probably the, the culprit is he's gonna take, he's gonna take uh, pretty much anything that he can get. Because I'm pretty sure he can't see me right now on the one side. Beautiful coyote, I sure wish he didn't have mange. All right, guys, I'll get him uh, taken care of, and I'll show you the remake. Stay tuned. It's too bad he's got mange. He was an absolute beautiful coyote. But I'm here doing a job to get rid of these dogs that are that killed the, the guy's dogs, so. Got him by a toe. Champ held him. Caught him sometime probably last night. Big old male. I mean, look at this color on this thing. Absolutely beautiful dog. See if he's got mange though. You can see his belly. All the mites are getting his belly. His tail's bald. Man. Either way you look at it though. God, has a beautiful dog. It's too bad. You get too many of them in one area, they get sick. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna remake this. To where it has the best potential catching. It was on a two track, so if I take all this back, I'll make this big hump now. I wanna take the two track I wanted to come right along here. There's gonna be tons of smell here, and there's my trap. Take all this back here, like this. So that way they continue on their trail. It doesn't, I don't want them to go up on that pile. I want them to come right around. If I would've left all that dirt, they'd have just climbed up the pile and moseyed on. So we're gonna make this clean. Put this pile up here, that's gonna be the backing. That's gonna really stick out like a sore thumb. Pack it, pack it real good. That way your dirt hole stays better. And the wind is blowing this way. Hopefully. We're supposed to have some south winds for a while, so it should be good. You usually want to count in your wind. This is kind of going to be a blind set now. They're going to come right along here. And I know I don't have my gloves on because they're soaked. Put my dirt hole here. That's the first mangy coyote I've caught in a while. Yeah, they were really bad about five years ago. Deer holes there. Pretty sad that it's got mange, but I'm happy to help the farmer that needed me here to help him.
nice that final latch still works pans exactly how it was perfectly fine I didn't even see that guy. I was just moseying along here thinking how cold I was because I'm <laughs> playing in the water, the muskrats. And then I just happened to notice movement. You got a lot of hellfire. You gotta like make sure your bag, your fan covers are secure if you got hellfire anywhere even near you. Someone asked why I fold these. I just give them a little fold so that way they're. Oh, you son of a bitch. I want it to be. Not covering the trap like majorly, and that's gonna be a dick, ain't it? Come on, don't put me in pain. Get some dirt on there, hold it. Yeah, dang it. Well, it's breezy. You guys can probably hear that. How breezy it is. I have not got my broom yet, guys. Or brush or anything. It's not. I have not got one yet. I kind of forgot about it until I just did that. Getting dark. Hopefully, you can still see me. Oh, Ozark Mountain Border Patrol in there. That's about out of that. That's what I've been catching a lot of stuff on. bit of fox gland lure from Hobbockers and it stinks a little bit of hellfire piqued their interest That's remade. I think it'll be just fine. Put a little bit of clods here. You can kind of, they won't walk on them. Keep them from walking on where you don't, you don't want them walking over here. So just put some dirt clods there. Like that. There's dirt clods everywhere here. So it blends in. One more set here to check. And that's probably gonna be it for today. Such a beautiful coyote. It's too bad he's got mange. It's good to get him out of the... The other dogs have been healthy so far from here. And one healthy one. It's good to get him out. That's a big dog. That is a big grandpa dog.